Shalom, Shalom, Koho Layam La, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rekat Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you, speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. So, scripture of the week. So, scripture of the week. And I don't want to rot desire. This is informative, edifying, uplifting. And of course, uh, build your faith, your trust, your belief, your hope, and most of all, your fear in your heart by Shimmy Hawa Shai, man. Okay, but you know, we uh, choose a precept. Each week to, you know, examine ourselves and also to apply to our uh, countenance and also to uh, keep us sharp, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and read the book of Sirach, chapter 4, and I'm going to read verse 23. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. And, you know, us of the men of the hopeful elect of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai we don't refrain or hold our wisdom that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai has given us man we speak these words uh, daily okay not only do we study meditate conduct ourselves according to the words precepts scriptures however you want to state it of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai we also speak the wisdom that the Lord has has uh, given us that he has uh, you know built uh 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 built upon Salakia built us upon that knowledge that wisdom that understanding Salakia I'm gonna read this again Sirach 4 verse 23 and refrain not to speak and that's in all matters in this in this knowledge man because you know we're uh supposed to be never silent you know as it says in the book of Isaiah 62 verses 6 to 7 we, we're not supposed to you know be silent we're supposed to be continuously out here professing and proclaiming these words man you know we're supposed to be like a broken record where everybody's getting so annoyed of what we say because in actual reality what we say is the truth and the truth is not again professed among society and when the truth is professed and proclaimed it is uh, hurtful to these wicked abominable people man and that's a uh, good work and that's the beauty of it man we're literally seeing the downfall of our enemies. We're literally a part of history in the making, man. Okay, continuing on. When there is occasion to do good, okay, and that's the main thing. We're doing good by being obedient to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and not hiding our penny that was given to us in the napkin. No, we're uh, using that penny and we're, uh, you know, putting it forth to gain profit, to gain revenue, to gain Okay, acceptance of Yahweh Shah when he comes back to see that we have taken that penny and applied it to our lives, man. That we have, uh, you know, tripled, doubled, you know, that we have invested that penny to good works. Okay, when there is occasion to do good and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty, and we give you the whole role, we give you the whole understanding of the Bible. From the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Old Testament, and also the New Testament. We break it down precisely and correctly through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's true wisdom. That's true love. That's true obedience. And our people don't realize that what the men of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai are doing is true love. Regardless of the delivery. Regardless of how it's being spoken and how it's being directed and how it's being said. We are literally showing our people true love. Okay? Period, man. And this is something that we all must do, man. We all must, you know, not refrain to speak. And then when there's occasion for any of you beloved brothers or beloved sisters to do good, do it. Because the Lord is not going to forget your labor of love and your labor of good works, man. Okay? And, and, and that's part of alms. You know, alms is not just giving a brother uh, a present or, you know, uh, helping, uh, 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 
you know, giving him gas money or something like that. Alms could be, you know, listening to your brother, you know, being that shoulder uh, that he needs to cry on, you know, or just, you know, asking that brother when you see him, how you doing, man? How's everything going? Is everything all right? Alms come in plenty different ways that you can give them, man. And that also goes into what? Being brotherly, charitable. Okay, so it's not just a, a, a physical gift in, in, in doing good works and, and, and alms. Okay, it's again, also being a brother, being a sister. Okay, you know, when you, when you see the occasion to do good, especially towards somebody that believes what you believe and is really attempting the, to the best of their ability to walk in righteousness, why wouldn't you want to do something good for, the, uh, for that brother, that sister? And again, it could be advice. It can be anything. That helps that person uh, uh, get back on track. That comforts their spirit and that reminds them, "Oh, I, man, you know, I, I thanks, man, thanks, uh, 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 uh Aquaf, you know." And it says, "What? And hide not thy wisdom in her beauty, man." So we're not supposed to hide our wisdom. We're so supposed to spread the wisdom to those that seek learning, those that seek to be edified, man. So we have to profess this wisdom that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah has given us, okay? Because he called us for a task, for an agenda, for a job, which goes into the word vocation, man. And we must apply and we must uh, put our hands to the plow. We have to do this with actions, not lip service, man. Okay, so, you know, I don't want to write this out. I hope and I pray that this was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the truth sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf. That you got something out of this precept of the week, man. I'm gonna read it one more time. Sirach 20, Sirach 4, Sirach chapter 4, verse 23. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. So, Lord willing, this was edifying, afford, uh, informative, uplifting. To you, beloved Aki and Wa'akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.